Hello everyone, Jeff here, and welcome back to some more God of Weapons. It's time for some more uh, weapon unlock hunting with the Juggernaut, which I need to complete a run with, which I thought I had done before, but I guess not, I don't know. Anyways, Juggernaut, which I just ignored his stats completely, uh, it gets 40 armor to start with, 30% damage with melee weapons, no ranged weapons, and moves slower. Pretty normal character. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, I think we just take Crest. Adjacent melee weapons get a one base damage for every two armor. It seems pretty good. Alternatively, adjacent armor items get 30% armor, and adjacent weapons get one range for every two armor. Also decent. I'm just going to take Crest for extra damage. And then what weapon do we want? Is there anything new here that's, like, spicy? Attack speed for each adjacent axe. Seems good. Small axe juggernaut. And max difficulty obviously all right let's uh let's do it let's check it out yeah if you haven't seen this before it's a combination of between um you know a bullet arena and backpack hero it's fantastic check it out it's recently had a update that added quite a bit of stuff and a couple of new mechanics not um the giant update that i was really hoping for but maybe dlc is coming i don't know I kind of just want more weapons and stuff. Three levels is an okay start. All right, so let's just make some space here like this. And then we want more axes like this. Now, obviously the problem with that is They don't really mesh too well together, but I guess we can wait. This is a combat axe. This is a bigger axe. We don't want bigger axe. We want we want small axe. Yeah, small axe and dice. We want a bunch of dice too. Small axe and dice. Um, it does seem the economy's changed a bit in the game. So we have to navigate that as well. Uh, um, we can do a whetstone. That's pretty good. I think it's a pretty strong start. Three axes. Oh, that's new. I haven't seen that before. Um, yeah, it never used to be uh, poison vials. Yeah. I, I ruined that book in particular. There's definitely new enemies and new like environmental stuff, so that's cool. Um, I'll take, I'll take all the invulnerability. That seems good. It also seems like some of the weaker weapons have been buffed, which is nice. Uh, this might not be the smartest way of upgrading here. I'll take another whetstone. It's just good. I would like another small axe if I can manage it. Um, oh. Oh, I see. Do what? Am I... Am I crazy? What's happening here? Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I am going to... I'm so bad at this. Oh my gosh, I am mildly embarrassed from that one. Okay, well, we've got the crest in the middle, so that's nice. I don't really have space for much else. I guess we could have taken that other small axe and then combined. Yeah, we could do this. Combine these. Purchase this one. Get some better axes in here, and then... Maybe find another one. Maybe. Uh, one more roll. Okay, I'm not gonna spend any more gold rerolling. I think three axes is still plenty, especially when they're a fair bit stronger than they were. I think what you're supposed to do with the combining is just not really like focus on it. It's just there to make it so you don't have to sell weapons. I, I wouldn't really focus on combining stuff. 
but when like things present options present themselves like what we just saw in the shop it kind of makes sense to to abandon what we we're doing not the best way for us but that's okay it heal that seems like not what i want to be doing kind of feels like we want some lifesteal Um, kind of also feels like I should be able to fit this in here somehow, but I'm not really sure how to go about that at the moment without rearranging everything. I guess this is how. Yeah, okay, I did it. I'm smart. I don't know why. Why do I ever doubt myself? All right, need another dice. Reduce our attack speed some more, but that's okay. We get the luck that we need. Um, yeah, this is fine. We're going to need to pick up some lifesteal or HP regen at some point. As, um, you know, especially as a slow moving character, like the game's already hard enough to like dodge damage as it, or avoid damage as it is with normal speed but like moving 20 percent slower is just like and now we've got chandeliers falling on our head <laughs> it's like okay so definitely gonna need lifesteal and our regen here soon and also with all of our armor it's even more effective maybe some xp gain would be nice too i almost feel like we're okay with weapons but what if, uh, what if, what if I purchase this and then we just like combined and put this here and then we just had like these three and now we focus on some level of non-weapon stuff. I mean, we could get 12 armor. That gives all these weapons six more base damage. It gives us 12 armor. Um, there's no extra synergy there. It's also no healing. We take, take whetstone. Ooh. Oh, no. I don't want XP gain down. That seems bad. Elites. I don't think I'm ready for elites right now. As bad as that is. All right. Give me a scroll of mastery. I really, hmm. I really feel like we need. Okay, where is this supposed to go? It goes like, it goes like this. Some type of life steal. That is a powerful fist. I might just take that because of how good it is. Also two armor. I don't think we need two armor. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't feel super strong right now. Maybe it's because the axes have such short range. Like if we got any type of range up item, that might help. We could also maybe abandon some luck. Some of the dice we have just to get some attack speed back. That might not be a bad idea, either. The elites just concern me a little bit. Sure. So, given that, what if... something like this... I mean, I'm taking this now. We're using it. We take the fist. Um, 
You can also take the glove, but that's not where I want to be. Resource gain and movement speed. It's not terrible. Might not be the most helpful either, though. Could take five recovery here. I, ugh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I am concerned that we're about to lose. Okay. Okay. I have... I have pushed the limits here with the summoning two elites. Got two dashers. We do have a lot of armor, I guess. Three levels and I set of the chest. Great. Was that an Indiana Jones bull we're rolling at us? Ow. Okay, we're gonna live. We're gonna live and it's fantastic. That was that was a big deal. Because now the run gets to continue mostly. Um we need range, feels like. Also, this should just be here, and this should just be here. Here. There's lifesteal for a little bit of damage. That's not exactly how I want to do it. Preferably. Another power fist. Power fist is combined too also. Oh my. Oh my. Okay. Okay, we're going to sell this. We're going to purchase this power fist. This is a lot of weapons and a lot of not other things. Um, the tier three small axe. All right, let's do this. Let's combine. And then buy, and then we have the scroll here, which we can just put out and we can slap that there. We've got good weapons. We see good items. Really, I think we just need attack speed stuff and um, range from here, basically. At least that's what it feels like. Those chandeliers falling are uh, startling. Um, what, what do we do? Uh, no, Halberd. Let's see if we can get. Okay. We're going to have one HP to start the wave. I don't love that. But. It might be necessary. I'm going to buy this spyglass just for this wave. We're not going to take this now, that's for sure. However, we will take it next time. Okay, got to be very, very careful right now. Hopefully we get a good set of enemies. This is where a bad set of enemies can kill you. This is also where getting hit by random projectiles can kill you. Gotta get our gotta get our life back. And then we can let the voodoo doll do its thing. Oh, getting invincibility there was huge. Now I can just like get some HP. Alright, I feel a lot safer now. We're still a little low. Oh, the chest were 
crates are spawning inside of the inside of the bookshelf. I don't know if I love that. Okay. I feel like we're mostly out of the like immediate danger spot. That's just a tier four rapier, huh? I'm going to be honest, it's hard not to purchase this right now when we're going directly into a, um, you know, we're spawning more elites. Yeah, this seems, this seems fine. <laughs> this seems like a good setup. It also has pretty good range. So that's nice. Oh, we've got big, big boy here. Minotaur man. I, I don't think he's that big of a problem for us. As long as we just ke play keep away, which I kind of think is what we have to do until we like get some type of build going. Because right now we're kind of like lost this we don't really have any direction like armor helps our stuff a little bit but it doesn't help us right now that's uh that's a pickup anvil is pretty good i'm going to upgrade the fist yeah. Yeah, I don't hate that. I don't think we need another dice. I don't think Bracer's worth it. I don't think Medallion of Might is worth it. It just takes up too much space. You always take an Elixir of Last Breath. Always. And then from there, uh, I'll roll one more time. Nah. You always take Elixir of Last Breath because revives are huge and half health on the next wave should not be a problem. Like basically any build you have should needs to have some way of recovering HP, so starting at half doesn't really matter. I'm gonna beat the hell out of this beholder. Yeah. He's having a bad day. Came to the wrong library. I feel like I've seen a lot of libraries and not enough like uh I was hoping we'd see some like forest areas or maybe some like I don't know. Swampy stuff. Who knows? Who knows? Uh taking immense amounts of damage right now. I don't think we want the rainbow potion. It's just like. I, I only care about melee power, so if we lose melee power, it's not very good. These things are all. Interesting. We, I'll take plunder's flag. I think we're fine with plunder's flag the enemy amount enemy on this game doesn't give you more resources which is like super interesting like they don't drop xp specifically so that is just a negative but the extra move speed and the resource gain is not insignificant definitely grabbing a potion here herb No. Pocket watch, yes. Shield, maybe. Boots, no. Shield is... Shield is pretty good.
Like, it blocks 25 damage, 8.7, plus armor for each adjacent weapon. I mean... That's not terrible. Ooh. Are we critting? I think we're leaning more towards crit than not. So I'm gonna skip that. We'll just let's we'll go to the next floor. Alright. This should be good. Let's destroy all the books. Because we're a juggernaut and we do not read. To hell with the books. Books are good. Don't, don't, don't burn books. <laughs> but the juggernaut doesn't, he doesn't read clearly. Look at him. He just, it, how can he with this helmet on? He can't really see anything. That's why he's just wandering around. Three levels? Just three levels. Okay. There's a another small axe. Not gonna say no. I am gonna say no to the liquid rainbow. That rhymed. I didn't mean it to, but it did. Ring of power. Do I do it for the elves? No, I do it for the men. Ooh, attack speed, dodge chance. No, I don't want to lose armor. I like the attack speed. A lot of money now. Floor 12. Hit this. Sell this. Buy this. Um... Sell this, purchase this. <laughs> Hope we don't lose very quickly on this next wave. We're going to lock this guy up. I'm going to purchase that. All right. We have a small amount of region. Rapier. Can you play? Okay, yeah. Invulnerability. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> You showed up at the perfect time. Oh, then we picked up food too. Floor chicken. Fantastic. You know, as good as the axes are, it seems like just fisting is the way to go. The old reliable strategy. Your satisfaction. All right, two levels is okay. I mean, one K DPS is not super exciting, but we're getting there. Turtle shell is also pretty, pretty strong. Life steal gloves, nice. So we got any like big items. I'm going to, huh? I'm going to get rid of this water skin for this paradise. And then waste my money. And then we're going to sell this scroll of mastery for this liar and increase our damage by a significant amount. Although we do lose some lifesteal, we basically bought that back in the glove. The lifesteal gloves. And made up for it with just having an insane amount of attack speed. The knockback from fists are really doing the job here. I need to get rid of these mages. So the most obvious problem I see with what's going on is that we just don't have any range still.
And range is still probably... With the way the shops changed, range might just be the best stat in the game. Because before, it, I definitely thought it was luck. But now... Luck does not seem to be as profound. Okay, hold up. I'm gonna buy this, but we're gonna be aware that I can um, combine. Um, yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's combine. I think we want this one down here, though. And then let's just purchase this. Keep this locked. Yeah, we have a lot of space, but it's all right. We have 21 life steal currently. We're on one HP with no regen, so I don't love that. But we do have two revives. And there's no elites this floor. Next floor, there's going to be some elites. Uh, this is not good. Okay, we, we got out of that trouble there. So I think my overall feelings right now is that I'm a little disappointed in the small axes. These don't seem to deliver the... the punch. that you need but maybe i mean it's literally called a small axe and we haven't gotten the plus range so maybe also they should be surrounded by axes and not trying to circle around this thing you have a thousand dollars that's that's enough to justify this it's early enough we can take that what is this the candle holder 15 resource gain, 25 experience gain, 3... Okay, sure. I've been convinced. We could just take this. We have space right now. Melee power, damage, minus 5 luck, sure. Sure, ooh. Not yet. Turtle shell's nice. Boots. This is a weird build. And by weird, I mean not very strong. Uh, who is this Grim Reaper man? And why are there two of them? Definitely my first time seeing this guy. He has a cool sound effect. Give me an give me a vulnerability crate so I can walk up to him and punch him in the butt. Give him the old thousand years of death. Okay, and one one elite down. It's a good sign. three levels. I don't hate it. So now we're going to click on this and this. We go way up in lifesteal. We click dice set. We have two revives already. This is very expensive. Storm Eye. Oh my goodness. Okay. We purchase Storm Eye, and then we sell Plunderer's Flag, and then we sell Dash Boots. Now we have an insane amount of range. Also, we take Hourglass, and now we have Dodge Cap. Um, <laughs> then we take Pocket Watch. Oh, it's all coming together. It all happened so fast. 
we went from near death to um completely broken almost instantly it's funny how that works all right let's get this mystical finger in here we are on one hp and we are slow as dirt however unless we are defeated by the arena okay how many chandeliers are there in that one spot Real talk, like how many chandeliers do you actually need in a singular room? Uh, what is the limit? Is it one of those situations where you're... Because this isn't like a dining hall, right? Like, But I guess in a library, you need to light stuff up. So it's reasonable to have a few for lighting purposes. Maybe. Okay, real question though. When, when does God of Weapons take place? There's magic. There's not guns. There's revolvers. There's like gun. There's like crossbows that act as guns. So there's no gunpowder, which is interesting. Um, chalice is fine. I think chalice is decent. Uh, great axe is obviously just absurd. Probably to the point where we're supposed to combine these and just make it fit. Uh, like this, most likely. Oh, okay. Well, let's do that. Uh, if you don't know, Bloody Teeth is incredible. It's one of the best items in the game. You spawn elite. Every time you kill an elite, you get uh, damage and armor. It's permanent. This stupid thing doesn't work with meta progression, unfortunately. Uh, I mean, I guess I can buy it. Let's see what happens to our stats when we buy it. Yeah, so if we had negative projectile power, that'd be cool, but we don't. Um, I guess I'll hold on to it. Just to hold on to it, but... Power Fist 3? You don't say. It was a little expensive, but... Go back. Go back to your home. What about... No. Brave Spirit, we're the opposite of that build. Alright, now we have a... Yeah. We have that. My favorite weapon in the game, basically. I guess. I mean, the game literally has Ashbringer in it, plus the things I haven't seen yet. But even so, I'm a big fan of Whirlwind. Like, Diablo 2 Whirlwind is such a classic. And this thing goes crazy. Yeah, all it took was a storm eye and this build just broke the game in half. Not surprising though. All we needed, all we needed was range. just okay we can get some more range here basically always good i don't know if we're looking at anything for anything particular at this point i guess one thing we could do is rearrange this to be a little bit better like move this axe over so it's touching this um five percent more chance to get the spinny spin Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well. Now we got big stompy boots. It seems. 
Create explosion at the start and end of dashing. Explosions deal damage equal to vitality and armor combined. Okay, that's a lot. Explosion radius is based on range. Also a lot. Fan. Um, fan seems okay. Get rid of this by the fan. Oh no, it doesn't. That doesn't fit there. Curses. It could fit there, though. We just need to move some stuff around. In an intelligent way. I'm so smart. Don't nobody say anything in the comments. Just let me have it. Okay. <laughs> I need this in my life. All right. Pocket watch. Um, over. Okay. I think we sell this and we get these two. Yeah. Holy stomp. It's never going to do any damage, though. I was wrong. Maybe. Hey, 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 get away. Get away from me. Silly elite. It does have a big AOE. I love the idea of the boots item. It's just... I, I feel like by the time you get it going, you're already past the point where it's good. Also, because it slows you down so much, it's kind of a weird, like, anti-synergy. I don't know. I guess if you get it with the dash boots, that's pretty good, but then you need Vitality and Armor, too. Um... I'm pretty sure this is going to be very strong right now. 5% damage to 60% damage. Okay. Yeah. That's decent. And 12 melee power. Also decent. Everything's coming up my way right now. Not movement speed. Nice. Ooh, a thorn shield. That's fun. Let's let's use a thorn shield instead of instead of uh, that other shield. Oh, well, let's also use the vampire crown for vampire crown things. I guess we can sell some number of dice. Probably. Although. The dice were making it easier to slot things in. To other spots. Maybe this here and then. Just, you know what? Just do this. We have 74 HP, but we have 48 lifesteal and also uh, 161 damage. That's pretty okay. As far as okay things go. Five armor. Okay. Floor 19. Oh, gosh. Um, yeah. Well. You know, at least he tried. I 
I'm the juggernaut. Bitch. I don't know how... Imagine if the juggernaut in the comics ran this slow. Like he was just always running at this speed. You can never stop him, but he's always running at this speed. So like you can't take him out. And if he stops, he's weak. But as long as he's moving <laughs> at his snail's pace, um, do I have a wait? Do I not have a weapon for this? Oops. All right. Well, there's a small axe right here, so let's let's make this work. Like, bring this down, bring this over here, put this here. I think this fits. No. Do this, and then upgrade it. Nice. But then that's not all, because we actually want to put it down over here. So it can get the buff from... So we can buff this axe. The trident, one of my favorites. Not really what we're after. Okay, so this is the final floor. It being the final floor, we're just going after whatever. Uh, skull is pretty great. So we can get rid of these things. These mirrors out of here. Don't really need extra elites. Feels like. Could be dangerous. What is this? Assassin's Mask? Oh, this is something new. Six melee, eight crit. Killing an enemy with a crit instantly refunds dash cooldown with the refund itself having. That seems... That seems absolutely incredible. Let's do... Okay. Hold up. This down here. This over here. I've got two, got two gloves on the outside right now. Can we move these things over and make like a more cohesive situation here? Okay, everything's in now. I have two spots here, so let's... No, that's not... Really? Okay, well, let's just get rid of this. Let's just buy this. I don't need to... Oh, it takes four slots? Oh. Oh, hamburgers. Um, we get rid of Chalice now, actually. I don't know how much that helps, but it should help a little bit. Haha, -ha, with 35% crit and it refreshes our dash. It's pretty good. I will buy this because that's one slot. And we're done. Okay. Floor 20. Oh no, we're slow. We should be able to dash almost infinitely though. Oh, we got Axe Boy. I do not know his patterns at all, for the record. My strategy against him is literally kill him before he kills me. And it worked. We have unlocked something. I didn't get actually get to see what it was. Let's take a look before we end the video. Hope you guys liked it, by the way. Hope you enjoyed seeing me absolutely crush the game after we almost lost at the beginning. Uh, we got... Went around with all... juggernaut aspects we got the builder's hand let's go take a look at the builder's hand not one of these the builder's hand it is an eight slot unique fist crushing stable unique weapon that scales off of attack health vitality 
A giant mechanical arm alternate between a sweep and a slam. A sweep, massive knockback on a hit. Slam, 1.5 damage. Adjacent vitality items grant four vitality. Adjacent armor grants plus two armor. Well, that sounds incredible. Can't wait to use that or see it. Also, can't wait to see these things. The night opener and the abyssal cleaver. Yeah, so hopefully maybe in the next run. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Again, hope you like the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Jeff out. Bye.